it's Bridget. Um, okay, so today I'm going to do the colors of the rainbow tag for you guys. And um, I wasn't tagged by anyone specific, but I saw a Great Road Girls video on it a couple days ago, and I wanted to do the tag. So, um, okay, here we go. So, anyway, okay, first color is red. Um, and here I have Max Ruby Woo in this container. It's like this. The reason I have this depotted is because I'm getting more into doing makeup work for like events and for my friends and for photo shoots that I'm doing. So I wanted to keep all my lipsticks handy. And these are just the two reds that I have right now. Um, I have more in my other case. But, um, anyway, yeah, so that's why it's an actual, like, MAC tube. And it's a matte lipstick, so it's kind of drying, but I love it, though, because it's, like, a blue-based red, which looks good on my skin tone, and it looks good on other fair-skinned, translucent-skinned people. And I bet it look good on other skin tones, too, so there we go. Okay, so second product is orange product. Second color is orange, should I say. And, um, it's another lip product, which I'm obsessed with any kinds of lip products, but I love the lip products from Lush. And Lush Cosmetics is like a natural beauty store, and it has like bath stuff and body stuff, lip stuff, whatever. So, anyway, this is the Chili Tingle, um, lip tint, and it's like an opaque orange. And, um, it's kind of intimidating in the little pot, but once you put it on your lips, you can build, like, the opacity of it. So if you want, like, a lighter orange, you can go toward that side, or if you want to, like, build it up to, like, this bright, punchy orange, you can do that, too. So, um, I just like, I just like it a lot. Um, it's really moisturizing, and, yeah, it's orange. It's the one orange makeup thing I had in my collection, so... Consider yourself lucky. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So, yellow. Um, being a girl with short hair, I like, um, to tie my hair back with stuff. And this is a yellow daisy sunflower what have you headband from Claire's. And I think you can still get it there, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's just... It keeps my hair out of my eyes, or, like, it's a cute accent piece for, like, more bohemian-type outfits that I have, so... Or I just wear it with a high-waisted shorts and a t-shirt, so... I don't know, I can go both ways. Dress it up, dress it down. It's really cute. It's easy to put in, I don't know. Easy stuff, okay. So, okay, next color is green. And I love the color green, it's my favorite color. So, I'm gonna have two green things for you today. Um, the first one is a brush from Tokidoki, or Sephora's collection for Tokidoki, and, uh, it's a blending brush, and it just has, like, little green accents, like the metallic green handle, and the little dude on top wearing a little hat that's green bluish. I don't know. So, yeah, it's really soft, and I like my whole set of brushes that I have from them. And then the second green, it's the Sinful Colors Nail Polish, like this, oop, like that, and it's in the color, oop, Innocent, 944, and um, it's a cute little apple green for any time of the year, but I like it for now because it's a bright color, and I'll just be totally original and say I like bright colors for summer, so, ha, huh, I do, cool, okay. So, <laughs> next color is blue. Um, this is a fairly new product. It's the Maybelline Rocket Volume without an E, which the grammar Nazi in me just, uh, bothers me. Anyway, um, Rocket Volume Express Mascara. <sighs> and, um, it's really... It's good on my lashes. I was surprised because I had the Maybelline plush and I hated it. Like that stuff either dried my lashes out or made them stick straight out or 
Ugh, I don't know what it was. It was just terrible. But anyway, this one is really good and it helps my lashes. It curls them just a little bit and um, I don't know. It's a drugstore. I have no complaints. I really, I know that's not focusing because it's trying to focus on my face. So thank you, No Autocorrect, for existing. So, okay, so the next color was supposed to be indigo. But I have nothing indigo in my entire house, beauty, arsenal, clothes, whatever. Nothing indigo. So, we're just going to come on and move to violet. Um, the color, or the product that I have is the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Ransom. And it looks like this is a mini one. Boop. And then... This is a swatch. I'm trying to see if you guys can see this. Maybe. I don't... I know it's blurry. I'm trying to fix it. This sucks. So, um, I really like these. They're super pigmented and sort of expensive for an eyeliner, but it's, it's well worth it when your eyeliner stays on all day long. And they do, because I like this stuff. And I just use it for different looks. It looks good up with people with green eyes. So that's why I wanted to try it. So yeah. And um, okay, we're gonna have a bonus color in this one because like I said, the no indigo thing like kinda bothered me, like no even numbered or no like there is no ending with this. Like with the indigo thing. So I'm going to pick pink as my last color. And um the last product that I have is the posy tip. <clears throat> Excuse me, by benefit. And, um, it's basically, it looks like a nail polish. And it, um, kind of, it kind of goes on like a nail polish, too. It has the brush with, like, the little bottle. And then you kind of just dot it along your cheeks and then just kind of blend it in. And it doesn't fade or, like, melt off like powder blush does. I know powder blush gets, like, super gross, which is nasty. So... I like this stuff because it doesn't like, it doesn't, it doesn't fade like I said and it just, it stays on for a long time. So, well, okay, I guess that's the end of this tag and um, I basically take everybody to do this tag and to do a video response or, you know, do something along that line. Um, I want to see what you guys have and um, if you like this video, Comment, click, subscribe, um, like it, just tell your friends, I don't know. <laughs> I know this is my first video, but I'm, I'm working on it, and I'm working on the camera situation that is at hand, and I hope to be making more videos, a lot more videos, in the future. So, okay, see you guys, bye!